Hello and welcome friends to another episode where I speak about ballpoint pens in my collection and I have for you today a very uh, nice set from uh, Germany I suspect it's from the 1970s and it comes in this original box this is a simple box with um, gold braided trims and it's quite a nice looking box you can see that this was quite a high-end luxury product back in the 1970s and when I open it you can see a pair of cufflinks a necktie clip and this beautiful beautiful ballpoint pen this isn't a regular ballpoint pen but a pen that contains multicolored reserves so we have a red one a green one a black one and a blue one so in total we have four reserves and this particular pen has also a personalization on its body and uh, we can distinguish Paul Shadel KG and of course when you read this name you make a connection with let's say with the German market at that time the body of the fountain pen it isn't in great shape the gold plating was affected only some parts like the clip and this ending they uh, resisted a bit the test of time let's see if i can open it yes it unscrews like this and let's see yes it has a mechanism over there i'm not uh, so sure how i can can replace the multicolored um, or not multicolored but um, the approximately three colored um, reserves let's uh, see this is a plastic part and uh, this is a metallic part so i have to to find the right fit okay okay it screws back on let's test if the clip is functional yes quite functional quite springy clip this is our friend let's um, sh show you okay i simply press on this and we have the mine and when i need to press the other one i have this one but also you could press it and then you could um, um, press it till Oh no, yes, you you change it by um, by the action of the other one. So I have the blue one. Okay, it is the end. And if I want to uh, change it, just press any other color. You don't have to press it till the end. And now we don't have active none of the reserves. So quite quite a nice nice uh, instrument let's get back to our case and we have in german echt vergoldet and i believe this is gold plating but i'm not so sure so i will leave a text here when i will uh, search it on google let's take out a little pair uh just one cuffling let's see mm. okay so let's uh, look at the cuffling you can see that uh, also this cuffling is in quite a bad shape in the sense that um, it is um, affected the plate the gold plating plating was affected in time maybe it was deposited in um um in a place with um, lots of uh, humidity i'm not so sure let's uh, also see this necktie clip 
It is specific to the neckties of the 1970s. They were quite narrow, like um, maybe you've seen uh, the Quentin Tarantino film of Reservoir Dogs. Those guys were black suits uh, with um, white shirts and uh, the ne their neckties are quite thin and uh, also black. So quite, quite a sharp uh, look for a 1970s businessman. And I believe that we have the name of the businessman and maybe the KG are initials for a large firm in Germany. I have to study a little bit more. If I will have additional information, I promise an update to this video. And uh, you know, this is the from the series of uh, ballpoint pens in my collection. I always prefer fountain pens, but um, those ballpoint pens are part of uh, the writing instruments history. So they are quite, quite uh, nice looking, especially the old ones from the beginning of uh, the um, revolution of the ballpoint pen. The 50s, the 60s, the 70s, even in the 80s, they were quite, quite luxurious writing instruments, not uh, like nowadays when uh, they are all made out of plastic and cheap disposable uh, instruments. These were quite um, elegant for their days. I'm uh, sorry that the gold plating hasn't stood the test of time. Maybe they cut some cost on the production, on the production um, manufacturing procedure but um, this is quite quite an old ballpoint pen set it's uh, certainly older than i am i was born in 1983 so this predates with at least a de decade my uh, birthday quite quite a nice uh, looking uh, set and i must tell you that i paid only i believe 12 euros for this beautiful set and uh, including uh, this beautiful beautiful golden case its original golden case unfortunately i don't have a manufacturer of this set so no uh, name of the manufacturer of this set maybe it was done by a great uh, german firm uh, that produced uh, writing instruments at that time maybe Faber Castle, maybe another well-known producer from the 1970s. And they were custom made for a, a firm. This is certainly personalized with uh, these engravings, but uh, you could see even the engravings have uh, faded in time. It, uh, in my opinion, this set uh, wasn't um, used for a, a long period of time and it was simply deposited and because of the humidity conditions the gold plating has um, faded and um, let's give it a zoom to see what I mean you can see that there there is a um, layer in front of the gold plating and um, it has a feeling like um, there um, is uh, deposited salt on it so when you go to the seaside and when you touch a metallic object which was exposed to the um, elements which are full of uh, salt this is the feeling on this writing instrument so guys this was my review of another ballpoint pen in my collection this time a quite nice multifunctional, multi-colored ballpoint pen from Germany in the 1970s. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you've enjoyed this review, please support my activity by subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. I, I wish that you have a nice day. Thank you for your time. And bye-bye.